Hi guys, let's look at form 2 internet and emailing or internet and email. So at the description of the internet, we shall look at questions like define computer network, define internet. So what is a computer network? A computer network is an interconnection of computers to enable them to exchange information. Basically, when we talk about a computer network, we are talking of gadgets like uh, computer printers are uh, connected together uh, for the purpose of exchanging information. Then we have the internet. Internet is a global interconnection of a computer network. So internet is also a network. The only difference is that there are so many uh, ne computer networks and other networks connected together. Then we have a subtopic development of internet. So write the following acronyms related to development of the internet in full. We have A-R-P-A-N-E-T. This stands for Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. Then we have NSF-NET. That means National Science Foundation Network. Then question number three, internet started in the USA as secure communication research project. Highlight how the internet has evolved to current state. So I have taken few lines to form a paragraph and therefore in 1969, the ARPA net was set up connecting four universities. Then in 1972, email was adopted for the the, for the A-R-P-A-R-E-N-T and was the most common service by 1973. In 1973, the A-R-P-R-E-N-E-T became an international connection by connecting to Ingrad and Norway. Thereon, many organizations continued to connect to the network and in 1974, the term interne internet came into use. In 1983, the Internet Protocol Transmission Control Protocol, uh, that is the TCPIP, which had been developed in the 70s, was universally adopted. In the same year, the domain name system was developed. So this is just a summary of how Internet has evolved from the time it started in the US until current state. So that is the answer for that case. Question number four. The ARPANET is considered as the mother of modern internet. So, uh, to just expound on that, you're supposed to have the network, was the first network to use the packet switching technique in data transmission, which was later adopted for the whole internet. So, guys, the next subtopic is the importance of internet. So, state four benefits of using the internet. Number one, it enables communication on a global scale, easier research, uh, easier search and dissemination of information. Some government services are offered through the internet, like in Kenya we have eCitizen. Also we have uh, social networking is made possible by the internet. You can be in a position to use WhatsApp in the PC, uh, you can be in a position to use Google, you can be uh, Google Chats, uh, Facebook, search. Then you have internet connectivity terminologies. Write the following acronyms in full. We have DTE, we have modem, we have DC stroke IP. So DTE stands for data terminal equipment. Modem stands for modulator demodulator. Then you have TCP IP. This stands for transmission control protocol stroke internet protocol. Number seven, we have state five requirements for the internet connectivity. So number one, just like the acronym DTE appears above, data, uh, data terminal equipment such as computer, personal di uh, digital assistant, PDAs, and mobile phones are uh, used to transmit data. So for you to connect to the internet, the first thing you should have is a data terminal equipment like a mobile phone or a laptop. Then you need to have transmission media such as fiber optic, 
uh, wireless uh, media such as satellites and radio waves, which are pathways for data transmission. Then you have internet service providers. These are guys who sell us or supply internet, just like electricity is supplied by KPLC. Uh, internet is supplied by internet service providers. We have Safaricom, we have Access Kenya, JumboNet, Fiber, such. Then we have internet software. Uh, these are actually the protocols. So you, we have protocols, browsers, and also we have uh, something like the email software, something like Gmail. Uh, we have Hotmail, MSN, we have uh, Yahoo, such. Those are email software. Then we have browsers. We will talk of, of uh, uh, Mozilla Firefox, Firefox, uh, Safari, Simanke, uh, search Google Chrome. Those are browsers. Then we have data circuit terminate equipment, DCE, uh, such as switches, modems, and routers. Then we have question number eight. Explain the following internet software, uh, internet software, giving an example of each. We have protocols. We have browsers, we have email software. Basically, I had explained this one, but let's, uh, let's go through them. We have protocols. A protocol or protocols are rules that govern how computers can send and receive data on a network. So examples of internet, we have the TCIP, TCPIP, Transmission Control Protocol, and Internet Protocol. We have others that we shall run in Form 4. Then you have browsers. A browser is a program that allows you to surf or browse the internet. The term surf and browse means the same. So as I had said earlier, we have, uh, we have um, Mozilla Firefox, we have Netscape. Uh, instead of having Microsoft Internet Explorer, which is, uh, which is dead now, we have Microsoft Edge as a replacement of Microsoft Internet Explorer. So we have Edge. Then we have uh, email software. This enables the user to compose, send, and receive emails. So we have Yahoo, we have Gmail, we have others like Hotmail. Then guys, we proceed to internet services related questions. So guys, we have, uh, sorry for that, we have internet, uh, sorry, electronic commerce or e-commerce. We have blog, we have instant messaging or chatting. So we have electronic commerce. This is buying and selling of goods and services over the internet without the parties involved in the transaction meeting face to face. Guys, you know Jumia, you know Copia, you know Kilmore. Those are examples of sites uh, that offer e-commerce. We also have instant messaging. It is an internet communication mode where two or more people can chat without one another using text or video in real time. So guys, that is an example of uh, uh, chatting. Then we have blog. What is a blog? A blog is an internet site where a person can regularly post personal information, music, movies, and diaries, and socially interact with people conne uh, connected to the same. So we have a blog and also uh, as another example of internet uh, services. Then we have differentiate between internet and www or world wide web the internet it is an interconnection of networks globally to create one large global global communication system you can talk of village uh, uh, that is um having like our single village then we have uh, whereas a uh, world wide web or www is a virtual space on the internet that contains information can also say it's a combination of websites then we have number 11 list any five communication services offered on the internet so uh, we have blog we have social networking internet tv radio we have news groups we also have email discuss the contribution of the internet to e-learning so guys e-learning is where you use computer and internet to Alan. So the internet provides numerous online academic materials. In addition, distant learning is available, enabling people to register for a course, read notes, discuss with lecturers, 
and peers and even sit for examination online. You can remember uh, during COVID-19, coronavirus uh, menace, people used e-learning and also graduated virtually. Then we have terms or questions relating to accessing the internet. We have hyperlink, we have browsing, we can also add a book, uh, book map, book map, book maps. So we have browsing. Browsing is exploring or navigating from one website to another. It is also referred to as surfing. Then we have hyperlink. A hyperlink is a link that creates interaction between web pages. So a hyperlink is just a, a, a ring between web pages. So if, for example, I look at this one, it can, can behave like a hyperlink taking me to Google. So Kimani, the secretary of Profile Club, was given the task of searching for an, for an enlightening article on the effect of drug abuse. He did not know where to get the information on the net. However, Kibet, a member of the uh, club, told him that he could use a search engine. Define the term search engine giving example. So guys, a search engine is a program that helps you to search something like Google, we have Bing search. Those ones are used to uh, search. Also Yahoo has a search engine of itself. So to search information, you can just go to the browser, then type www.google.co.ke or then you type the keyword such as drug abuse in the text box. Then the search engine, uh, then clear, uh, you press enter on your keyboard or click on search. Then the search engine will display relevant hyperlink or links. You identify one of your interest and then you, you, you visit the website. Uh, on the other hand, guys, you can also utilize chat GTP. This one, you can utilize chat GTP. So chat GTP is this one. You see now I used chat GTP to ask, define social engineering. Then chat GTP gave me the solution. So if you just type here and then press enter. Then we go back to write the following acronyms in full. So you have URL. HTTP, HTML, SMTP, and, F, and FTP. So URL stands for Uniform Resource Locator. Then we have the, uh, uh, the HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. Then SMTP, this is, uh, this is a protocol or a rule. It uh, means Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. Rastery FTP stands for File Transfer protocol. Remember to visit chat GTP and uh, know how it is used. In question number 16, in order to access information on the web, we need to know the address or the URL of a particular site. Using an example, describe the format of URL. So guys, URL has two parts, the protocol and the domain name. So the protocol is HTTP and domain name is this one now, the Yahoo. Then this www just stands for World Wide Web. Then we have uh, defi differentiate between downloading and uploading uh, or as used in web content. So downloading is the process of acquiring files from the internet host and saving them locally on your computer hard disk. Whereas uploading on, uh, is the process of saving local files onto remote host. Or rather, uploading is just sending files to the internet. Downloading is getting them from the internet. Like now, I can upload a video, just like I uploaded this video for you uh, in YouTube. The video existed in my hard disk where I recorded it. Then, uh, after doing that, the, the file is uh, uploaded back. email or electronic mail so here we have z invited her friend to birthday party one of her friend jambi came with a digital camera and took pictures of the proceeding explain how jambi would transfer the picture to a computer so after completing after connecting the digital camera to the computer using usb or firewire 
cable, the computer detects a new device and install drivers for, uh, from the memory stick or for the memory stick, it is then possible to copy and paste their pictures. So Jambi would wish to send the photos via email to Z outline the steps he would uh, he would follow to send the photos as file attachment. So here you just go to send the photos. You go to launch the email program such as Gmail. Then you click new or compose to create new email. Click the file attachment button. It is in most, uh, most cases located at the bottom of the dialog box. So you browse the photo you want and then uh, click attach, then send button. Interpret the email address uh, gichai27 at gmail.com. So gichai27 is the username or the email recipient. At is a symbol for connection. It is a, 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 a symbol for separating, separation or connecting or joining. Concatenate, joining. So those, that is the, the purpose. Then we have Gmail is the, is the is the name of the host. That is the host. Who hosts that that one? State three advantages of email over the snail mail or ordinary mail, or the that is the letter, the letter that passes through the poster. So Gmail is instant. That that means it's fast. There is fast delivery. It is paperless, cheap, uh, when sending bulk mail. You can imagine sending. Uh, 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 3000 report forms by via email and via hard copy you can see the one will the other one will be bark it will be heavy then we have the rusty part emerging issues so discuss the impact the impacts are the effects or, or the results so discuss the effects of the internet in the following social unity so the advancement of uh, this one, this means that people globally can socialize and exchange ideas. However, addicts to these sites have uh, seen reduction of productivity. So here, social unity, you can see that internet has brought socialization and exchange of ideas. On the other hand, for the addicts, it has reduced productivity. Then we have information security. Uh, internet has brought things like hacking, cracking, uh, search, sabotage, EFs dropping. So you will notice that private and confidential information has been compromised as a result of uh, internet. Then terrorism. People can be recruited through the sites or through the internet or through social media. Then we have drug and human trafficking. The same. You can explain that people can be uh, people can be uh, uh, recruited using the internet also culture and religion we have things like homosexuality pornography that uh, bring about a uh, social illusion also we have cart cartic religions uh, people get to know about these ones in the internet then we also have social engineering social engineering refers to the use of psychological manipulation techniques to influence people to diverge sensitive or confidential information perform an action or grant access to systems or facilities. It involves tricking, tricking people into doing something they wouldn't normally do or giving up information that they wouldn't typically share, often through deception, impersonation, or exploit, uh, exploitation of trust. Guys, remember you can visit my website to download materials. My website is www.thecomputergurus.net then guys remember to subscribe remember to share videos with your, my with your your friends thank you very much